Before we go to the central tendencies for group data, first let's learn how to convert ungrouped data into group data. Okay, for this video, I will use a method which is called Sturgis rule, and the formula will be g equals 1 plus 3.3 log n. So the g refers to the number of groups that you want to form in terms of the n which is the name number of data okay so let's go to the example to make it clearer this is the data we have look at this a lot 180 data so let's just imagine how complicated it is when you have to find a mean median and mode from this 180 data with the conventional method okay so you can just count by one by one and then well of course we, if you're using program it's different but if you do it manually it's better for you to convert first into the group data yeah, so now let's learn how to convert before we count the number of groups that we want to form let's find the range first okay to find the range we need to locate the highest value and the lowest number for from you all of these 180 data. So first, the highest value, it's easier for us to use the Excels here since I just use formula, but of course you can detect it from this 180 data, uh, which is 2,738. So the lowest number will be 159. Yeah, again, you have to just looking for the least amount from this 180 data without program and then range will be the difference of, of the highest value to the lowest number so let's just subtract 2738 by 159 which is 2579 so let's count now the number of groups that we want to form Okay, let's use the formula from Sturgis rule, which is 1 plus 3.3 .3 times log n. n refers to the number of data, and the number of data for this case is 180. So, the formula to find the number of groups for this case is 1 plus 3.3 .3 times log 180, which is 8.44 and so on. You can check it by your calculator. So we have already had the range of our number data and the number of groups, which is in decimals. So, of course, we don't like uh, decimals number of groups, right? So let's round it up into nine. Okay, so the range is 2,000. 2,579 and the number of groups that we, uh, we want to form is 9. So let's go to the class interval. So it's just the length of our of each group. So when we know that we form 9 groups and the range of our data is 2,579, of course we can figure out what is the length of each group. Uh, the term is class interval which is the division of this as the dividend by this as your divisor. So let's divide 2,579 by 9, which is equals to this. Again, decimals, so let's just round it up. And this is the conclusion. We will form a group, 9 groups okay so let's just use classes from now from now on nine classes and the class interval is 287 okay so let's just draw the tra the table and this is the table and the headers okay i will use g for now on g i mean refers to the group and i will provide nine row here nine rows since I want to form nine groups, okay? So the first group, the first row, begins with the least number of your data, 159, 
Okay, so this is for the first group. Since I know that the class interval is 287, so I put the top border is 445. I will discuss later, actually, 287 must include 159 and 445. So the length of this class will be 287. And then the second group will be started with 446. Okay, so it's not 445. So we have to separate this one and this one, okay, to avoid ambiguity. Since if we start with 445 on the second group, when we have 445 in our data, we will be confused whether we want to put it into the first group or the second group. Okay, so let's make a difference the top border of the first group and the low border of your second group by one. Okay, the difference is one. So let's just continue since we know that length of our group or the class interval is 287. So I just count it. 287 from 446 it is uh, 732 and then let's just move on continue until we complete all of the nine groups okay then let's count one by one how many member of each groups okay so from this 180 data let's put it into the groups we have here of course, the conventional method or the in manual method is the using tally. Okay, for example, let's start from the first one, 2,531. So it belongs to this group, right? And then let's put it this way. Okay, yeah, of course, you are familiar with using tally. And then let's go to the second data. It's 553. So it belongs to this group and so on okay after you were, do the hard work and then you find the numbers of data total data of each groups it's called frequency okay it means uh, the number of data between 159 to 445 is 31 data from this all 180 Okay, and yeah, you can you can figure it out that the total number of your frequency must be equal to the number data you have, right? Okay, so it must be 180, which is after you sum all of it, yes, it is 180. So that is how you convert ungrouped data into group data. Let's go to the second example. This is the second example, okay? I want to make it smaller, the number of data and then the values itself. So uh, the objective is I want to make it clearly uh, feasible for you to uh, how the class interval works, okay? So let's start to convert this into group data. So this is the body weight of 30 staffs, for example, okay? So have, after we collect all of the body weights values, and let's start to group it. But before we count the number of groups that we want to form, first let's find the range first, okay? To find the range of this data, you need to know what is the highest value and what is the lowest one. So let's just try to detect what is the highest, which is after a closely look, we know that it is 69. Okay, the highest value is 69, and then the lowest value is 40. So 40 is the list value of the body weight from 30 staffs okay next go to the range so the range will be the the difference between the highest value to the lowest which is 69 minus 40 it is 29 after we find range now let's find the number of groups that we want to form number of groups let's use Sturgis rules okay don't forget the Sturgis rule which is 1 plus 3.3 times log 30. Why is log 30? Because the number of data we have now is 30. So by calculations, we have 
5.87 again let's round it up 6 so we have the integers value of uh, number of groups so after we find the range after we find number of groups now we can know that the class interval or the length of the group okay so let me just uh, use length of group or class interval it's the same which is 29 divided by 6 okay this will be the range divided by the number of groups so the length of the group or the class interval will be 5 because I round it up I don't like the decimals so let's make it integer so let's form the group now this is the table okay so let's put the header which is the body weight tally and frequency and let's just skip tally okay since uh, we use uh, a program so I can directly calculate the number of the frequency of each group so let's put the first number on the first group as the low border so the low border must be the lowest value of your data which is 40 so let's put 40 now let's let's go to the class interval I want to cl clearly explain about the class interval since we know that the length of the group or the class interval is 5 so the length of this group will be 5 so the top border will be 44 okay not 45 why because 40 is counted is included so let's count 40 41 42 43 44 now we have five date of, of five integers which is it covers five interval I get it I hope, it, I hope it's clear so the five class interval doesn't work uh, like that you add a 40 by 5 okay uh, be careful with that so it is 40 plus not 40 plus 5 but it is uh, you count it one by one is 40 41 42 43 44 oh that's 5 okay so let's go to the next group again the next group must be started with 45 okay it's not 44 we just add one to avoid ambiguity and then the top border of the second group let's count it 45 46 47 48 49 okay that's five okay so yeah so let's just continue that uh, with the same methods and we have completed all the groups here okay and then just use the tally just put it uh, one by one to the uh, each group and then I will find that this is the number of the frequency of each group okay so we have two datas uh, that between 65 and 69 kilograms there are two staffs and so on so in the end let's check the sum of this is 30 which is yes it is the total number of your data so it must be 30 so yeah that's the end of uh, the second example i hope the class interval is clear for you